What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at the CF auto root method for rooting the Nexus 5. This article can be found on XDA Developers. I'll put the link to this article in the video description down below and then you can get all the other downloads from this article itself. So following these instructions we have downloaded the zip file for this tool. Um, so I'll show you that. Here is the zip and then the extracted version if, is here with all the files. We have also downloaded the scroll down here where it says are you having fast food driver issues you can find drivers in one place but these way this is the Android SDK. He also has a link to it which I have here and again I'll just put a link to the article because that has the links to everything else uh, I downloaded this to get the drivers there's also just the driver itself so it's up to you I would recommend getting the SDK because as you'll see in subsequent videos as you'll see in later videos there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with the SDK so just go ahead and download that it's a pretty big file so download that, give it some time, and then the CF root download as well. So back to the instructions. He says download zip file, okay. Alright, so going to our phone, we're going to power it off and boot it back up into fast boot mode. Just go ahead and turn this guy off. Okay, now that the device is powered off, we will boot it back up into bootloader slash fast boot mode. So we're going to hold the volume down and press the power button again. The volume down and power button, holding both. And cool. So you see we've got the fast boot mode now. So now that that's booted up like that, we're going to connect it to our computer via USB. The USB cable here connected to my PC. Plug that guy in. So let's bring up that chain file, chain fire folder. And chain fire is the user that made this. You can see his username over there. So props to him for doing that. Let's go ahead and click this. So go ahead and run the root-windows method if you're on Windows. The other two if you're on Linux or Mac. We'll go double click that. Bring this guy over here. Okay. Warning, all your data may be wiped. So if you haven't made a backup of your device, you might want to pause and do that right now. So I've already done that. Go ahead and press any key to continue. So now on our phone, we have the prompt if we want to unlock our bootloader and selection on here is done with the volume buttons so see moving up with the volume and then press power to confirm and you can see a little message on the bottom it said erasing there now the phone is rebooting okay and that's what we should expect to see back on our PC it says if you don't see a red android appear, there's a problem. Obviously we have the red android, so that's good. Again, press any key to continue. I don't have an any key, so I'm just going to press the arrow key. So that closed on its own. Back on the device, you see it's booting back up. So hopefully when it reboots completely, we will have the super SU file on there which tells us that we have root. Alright, so our device is finally rebooting.
Okay, so our device finally booted back up, and it's asking us to go ahead and set it up like it's out of the box. So it's fine. Skip. I don't have my SIM card in there right now. So let me set this up. So we've completed the setup. Go ahead and hit finish. Okay. Okay. So our device is back to pretty much stock. Uh, so let's go ahead and check the files here. And there we go, we have the Super SU file on there. And so now we have root access on our Nexus 5. So there you go, I hope this tutorial is useful for you. I hope this process works for you. Uh, from what I've read, one of the common issues is people not having the correct drivers on their device. Um, for those who are wondering which version of Android I am running, So I have the 4.4.2 version. So if you have that, it should work, and it should work on earlier versions as well. So if you just bought your Nexus 5 and haven't updated it yet, this should work for you as well too. This procedure could break your phone, so proceed with caution. And if something does happen, um, you're solely responsible for your own actions. Just want to make that disclaimer so nobody sends me any hate mail saying that I ruined their phone. Uh, but again, you saw this did work for me, so uh, hopefully it works for you. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, Plus, or you can send me a message here on YouTube. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And until next time, good luck reading your Nexus 5. Thanks. Take care.